My name is Pete Matheson and I used to run my own IT support and security business. And if you're looking for a password manager, then here are my top five picks for password managers. Why five? Well, some password managers have their strengths and also just some people just don't get on with their chosen password manager. So here are five options with what I like about each of them and how much they cost to help you find one that works for you. Now, if you want to know more about each of these products, I've already reviewed a number of these individually on the channel. So subscribe and see the links down below for more of those. And then lastly, for my Android community who keeps telling me to use the Google or the Samsung Pass managers, there is a reason why I don't. And I'll fill you in on that towards the end. So my top five picks for password managers are one password, keeper, RoboForm, Bitwarden and Synology. And when reviewing and choosing these, I needed to make sure I was happy with everything from their pricing, their features, security, reliability, support, and cross-platform compatibility. After I make this video, I'm going to speak to each of these password vendors to see if they can hook you up with a great discount or a great deal. So be sure to check out the links underneath this video to see what they are and to get those when signing up. So the first one on my list is Synology. And this is because Synology is one of only three password managers that don't restrict their free tiered products. And whilst they are more well known for their line of network storage products, they also have an excellent understanding of how security plays a very important role in everything that we do. If you choose to do so, you can also upgrade to their family service, which covers up to six people and costs just $4.99 per year incredibly cheap and lets you share your passwords with your family members. Their C2 password manager is a web-based service with the browser extensions for Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge and with client apps for iOS but not currently Android as that's coming very very soon. Now Synology C2 also gives you a secure file transfer service that lets you send files of up to 100 meg in size securely to individuals which provides you with a great alternative for those of you using other file sharing sites like WeTransfer to send your files around. And the whole service is of course wrapped by Synology's already great knowledge and support that has evolved naturally from just being one of the, the best network storage products on the market today. There is a link down below to sign up for free. You don't even need a credit card to sign up. So if you just want a free or very low cost pass manager, then I would consider Synology C2 as one of the better options. Now, number two is another free or low cost solution. And that is Bitwarden, which is a firm favorite amongst the tech community for its open source approach to a pass manager. Similar to Synology, Bitwarden provides a fully featured product that's totally free with the option to pay 10 bucks per year for their premium level that gives you additional security options or pay $3.33 per month for their family level for six people to use and share passwords. Bitwarden has support for all of the major browser and mobile providers, including the ability to share files and their premium tiers allow you to send files of up to one gig in size. You'll also get monitoring for your password health and alerts if any of your passwords have been leaked onto the web. And also unique to Bitwarden, the option to self-host, which allows you to install and use Bitwarden from your own devices instead of storing all your data in the cloud, which you may or maybe may not trust. Bitwarden is a firm favorite in the tech community due to being open source. So there's absolutely nothing to hide and is another really, really solid offering if you're considering a free or perhaps a very low cost password manager. Before we move on now, I am giving away a brand new iPhone 13 Pro to one lucky person. And all you have to do to enter this worldwide giveaway is comment down below with what tech you are looking forward to buying this year. Then once the channel hits 50,000 subscribers, I'm going to post a video to announce the winner of this iPhone 13 Pro. So make sure you don't miss that video to find out if you've won. And that is literally all the rest to it. Next up as number three is RoboForm with their offerings of 24 bucks for a single user or 48 bucks for a family of five before discounts. And there will definitely be a discounted link down below for that as well. So be sure to grab that if you're about to sign up for RoboForm. Now RoboForm has a 30 day money back guarantee plus support for all the major browsers across Mac, Windows, iPhone and Android app for quick access on any device. You get offline access to your passwords and there's also the option for a local only storage mode which doesn't sync to the cloud if you wanna keep your passwords on your own device. You can import and export existing passwords via CSV. Please remember here to delete the CSV file after you've done so. Otherwise, your password is just left unencrypted on your device. Bit of a silly thing. Additional security is there from the likes of enhanced encryption and multi-factor authentication with the likes of Authy to store your one-time passcodes. You also have emergency access features to hand over your passwords to someone else in, I guess, the event of your death or through other issues such as an account recovery procedure. And you can, of course, share your password securely by sharing either a single password or a specific folder. 
Roboform started off life as a form filler, so it's no surprise that Roboform is one of the best when it comes to filling out forms. If you're a regular online shopper and spend ages filling your personal information, your payment details, your billing and shipping address, your emails, your phone numbers, and just all of the things, then Roboform is a really good option to go with. And I also like they have clients for basically every operating system, desktop client included, as there is a recent trend with the likes of Dashlane going completely browser only that personally, I'm just not a fan of. And their support team have been really responsive and knowledgeable the few times I've contacted them, more to test that they actually responded than actually having an issue. So that is reassuring if you're looking for a good password manager that's good at filling forms and with great support. Keeper is next and another one that I know has some very good discounts which I'll be sure to link down below. It is £2.50 for a personal account or £5.99 per month for a family account for up to five people. Of course, varies from country to country with a free 30-day trial and they also offer some additional features in their Plus bundle that includes a dark web monitoring service to monitor for any password breaches and of course their secure file storage service. Keeper is one of the only password managers in existence that has zero trackers embedded in its Android app, which is far, far better than most other password managers and a reason why it ranks so highly in many online reviews. There's support for Mac, Windows and Linux for the desktop app, plus browser support for all of the popular browsers and both iOS and Android apps so you can basically get your passwords for more practically any device that you might own. The interface itself is slick and works really, really well with options to create custom fields to store and organize your data in a way that just works for you. Plus, the ability to attach files to your records for things like passports, driving licenses, and other secure or confidential information. And security is great for Keeper too. You have the ability to use a ton of multi-factor authentication methods from the likes of Google Authenticator and Authy to security keys like these YubiKeys, which I would highly, highly recommend you use alongside any password manager, which I'll link to these down below. And also support for biometric security with fingerprint, face ID, and touch ID across mobile devices. Now the additional features, whilst they do cost extra, do provide added peace of mind with their breach watch service, which proactively monitors online records and tells you if and when your online accounts have been compromised. Like for example, when LinkedIn or British Airways or just any number of online accounts have a security issue that might require you to reset your passwords. And their breach watch will keep an eye on this and then notify you when it detects breaches occurred. Keeper also has previous versions. So you have the ability to restore previous versions of a password if you accidentally update one, but the password didn't actually change, you know, it didn't actually work, which I've had far too many times over the years. And overall, the product just, it just feels very refined to me, which I guess comes from being in the business for over 13 years. One password is next and it's priced at $2.99 per month for a single user or $4.99 per month for a family of five. And this is another one where I know there are some very good discounts available. So do check the links down below to see what those are before you do sign up. They also have a free trial to start with. So you can take a look at the service before spending any money, which is great. And like Keeper, 1Password are one of the very few who have no trackers in their Android app, which is again, really great when considering some of the other popular password managers include marketing trackers in their app so they can market to you better. Literally, like, no thank you. 1Password also have a ton of recent updates, which arguably make it one of the most fully featured and better integrated password managers of all. They have apps for all major platforms and web browsers and additional features like their Watchtower service, which keeps an eye on any password breaches. They also provide secure document storage for things like your driving license and other documentation. They have custom fields for you to add as much information as you need into individual records. And actually they've recently added the ability to generate secure responses to those like typical account questions that you get when signing up, you know, mother's maiden name, name of your first pet and so forth. So you can generate a random password that's unique to the service that you're signing up for. There are integrations for Fastmail to allow you to mask your email address when signing up for services, which means you can have a unique email address for individual services. Now, this means that if they're one of these services that ever you know, did get hacked or breached, then you have nothing to worry about other than that one account, since only your unique email address for that one service would have then been leaked alongside with that breach. And 1Password also integrates with privacy and your payment cards to let you create and store virtual payment cards for specific expenses. So you could create a card for say your online subscriptions and set spending limits on those cards in case your card details ever get compromised. 1Password 8 for Mac was released just last month and provides even deeper integrations into the Mac operating system. And the universal autofill feature allows you to also fill usernames, passwords, two-factor authentication codes on websites, but also on locally installed apps, whilst also taking you through multi-step login processes that require you to click a button before proceeding to the next step. They're now working on their Windows release of 1Password 8, so I imagine many of those deeper integration features will come over to Windows very, very shortly. And with everything 1Password has designed, they keep security top 
top of mind with some very, very detailed breakdowns of how they secure even the smallest details, like securing the icons that appear next to your password record. So a snooping person couldn't uncover what passwords you're storing based on the images stored on your computer. For the Android users who just say that you should just be using Google Chrome or maybe Samsung Password Manager, you should be using one of these password managers if you plan on accessing your passwords from anything other than your phone. And even then, I would argue that the additional features you get, as well as the cross compatibility, make it a no brainer to switch to a proper password manager. Because this allows you and frees you up to change the brand of phone without needing to move your passwords each and every time. Leave me a comment down below if you think I've missed one and maybe why you prefer it. Because of course, what works for me might not work for you. But do check out each of these if you're currently undecided and let me know which one you're going with after watching this video. Also, please do share this video with anybody you know who's considering a password manager right now so they have this like, up-to-date list of the best ones to look at. And next up, you might also be interested in the best free or paid for cloud storage services that also keep your security in mind. You can go and watch those here. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.